Hey YouTube, it's Chris here from Bluegrass Films, uh, call sign WX4SAR, and today I'm going to be building a uh, 35 foot wiry antenna for my uh, HF radio that's going to go up in the attic of my house. And here's the parts we're going to use uh, to build it. Uh, first of all, we got a uh, 9 to 1 ballon, or not ballon, but unun, I guess it would be, uh, 9 to 1 uh, matchbox here got 50 feet of uh, 14 uh, gauge wire, 25 feet of coax, uh, a tape measure, wire strippers, wire crimpers, wire clippers, a uh, box of uh, various terminals, and this is what's going to make running the antenna easy and also uh, make it very portable. Uh, these are, this is a uh, 33 foot fiberglass wire running kit available from Harbor Freight and probably other retailers as well. And uh, you're going to see how we're going to use this here. And the reason I need this is because I can't actually get into the attic. It's a crawl space, a very small one. And I'm a big dude so I can't get up there and, and crawl around. So. I basically have to put this antenna across the, the roof of the house just from the uh, opening. So this is going to allow me to do that. And right here I have the, uh, uh, the manufacturer's recommended wire lengths. Uh, since this is a 33 foot kit and I've actually measured the length of the roof uh, from the uh, crawl space opening to the edge, it's about oh, 30 feet, 30, 30 feet, something like that. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, 35.5 feet. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started here. By the way, this is uh, this uh, matchbox came from uh, Nelson Antenna. He sells, he's built, he builds these himself and sells them on eBay, and had very good reviews. So. I went ahead and uh, oh, I think I paid about $37 for that. Uh, I know I could have built it myself, but um, things that I've built myself don't have a good track history of working well. So I figured I'd rather have something that works than something that I built. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to trim a little bit off... Uh, uh, take the insulation off the end of this uh, antenna wire. There we go. And all right, I already checked to make sure that these terminals here fit. And um, yeah, so these are the the blue ones. The yellow ones were a little bit too large for this uh, for this wire here. So I'm gonna be using the blue terminals. And right now I need to check to see which side this goes on. And it says here that this is the antenna connection, this is the ground. So, all right, let's get, get these off. All right. Now, I'm not worried about weatherproofing these connections because this is not going to be an outdoor antenna at any, well, I doubt it. I don't see any situation where I'm using this as an outdoor antenna. I'm pretty much sticking it in my attic and leaving it there. So we have the uh, we have one end uh, crimped here. Now what we need to do is to measure out uh, 35 and a half feet so that we can uh, get the proper length on this so it'll tune right. Alright, so probably about the easiest way to measure 35 feet would be to use the uh, the rods here because we already know that all of them together are 33 feet so then I just have to measure two and a half feet beyond that so let's go ahead and start attaching the um, antenna wire to the rods and uh, then we'll have our uh, correct length so we take the end off of here set that over there and let's just take all of these out at once sorry I know I'm not in frame here I'm filming with my phone and it's not great for when you're doing things on your own. 
So you could actually, if you wanted, to, if you had a longer roof and you wanted to do a larger uh, antenna, you could buy multiple sets of these and interconnect them, and uh, that would work. So these are, yeah, you know, these are all just interconnectable. They're all the same. So let's go ahead and start getting the antenna attached to them. Now, one thing I know I want to do is I want to go two and a half feet longer than what these are. So before I get ahead of myself. I need to measure two and a half feet out of here. All right, let's get our trusty tape measure. One feet, two feet. And there we have two and a half feet. I don't know if you can see it or not, but trust me, there's two and a half feet there. That's good enough. I don't think it has to be quite that specific, but all right. Now we can go ahead and attach our first wire, our first uh, pole starting right here. Tie it right here, tape it. Alright, we got our first tape point and there's uh, two and a half feet from here. So now I know that once I get all 33 feet of the pole connected, we will have the proper length as recommended by the instructions here. There's one uh, section done. Now this is these uh, rods are fiberglass. The only metal is these little brass uh, connectors here, so I don't think it's going to have a whole lot of effect on how the antenna operates. All right, now when attaching the sections together, you want to leave a little bit of slack in the cable or the watt the antenna wire, so that you can actually take these apart again. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so I discovered that uh, electrical tape would not allow the uh, wires to move a little bit so that you could take the sections apart. So I'm going to have to use zip ties for the rest of the build from here on out. Alright, I've got one zip tie on here and you can see how uh, this is going to work. Uh, I can just unscrew this section from here. Hopefully you can see it. And there's a little bit of slack there. And now I can just fold everything up. But when I'm ready to put it back together again, everything just slides back in. And there's room to pull the antenna taut. This is not all that tight as you can see here. So yeah, this is gonna work here.
All right, here we have the completed antenna. I know I don't look too fancy, but uh, what I'm going to have to do is uh, basically go out on the driveway um, and uh, put all the sections together and use that to take the slack out, and then I'll be able to cut the wire exactly to measurement. It's not quite ready to install yet, so I know I got more wire here than I should have. Uh, so. Yeah, that's all I'm going to have to do, take it outside, put it all together, and uh, just take the slack out and measure, do the final measure and cut, and then it'll be ready to install.